This is a video explaining number 55 on the homework. Um, it's a little tough, and so that's why I figured you guys might have some questions, so I thought I would make a video on it. Um, okay, so when you do this problem, this is very similar to the one we did in the notes, but the last one. Um, the only issue with this one is I'm adding fractions together, so I know I need to make a common denominator. We talked about the easiest thing to do is to multiply <clears throat> each of these fractions by the opposite denominator, which is still true. All of that is true. Um, but, oops, that's not supposed to be an 8i. The opposite denominator is 3 minus 2i. The issue here, and this is the reason that makes this question a little more difficult, is that when you do that, these are not conjugates. The example we did in the notes, they were conjugate, so it was nice. It made the denominator real nice. But watch what happens here. So I'm going to backwards distribute this. I get 3i plus 8i squared over, I have to distribute this all the way through, so 9 minus 6i plus 24i minus 16i squared. If I simplify that and I change each of those i squareds to negative 1, I end up with right here 3i minus 8 over, this is a negative 1, so that's positive 16 plus 9, that ends up being 25 plus negative 6i plus 24 is 18i. Look at that denominator, still has an i in it. <clears throat> Do the same thing on the other side, and you'll see kind of what happens here. I end up with 6i minus 4i squared. My denominator is the same as this one, so it ends up being 25 plus 18i. I'm just going to carry that down, except when I carry this down, I am going to right now change this i squared to a negative 1, so that makes it a plus 4. And then when I get to here, I get to add my, um, oops, I get to add my numerators together, so I'm going to combine, I'm like going to add all this together and put it over my common denominator. So I end up with 9i minus 4 over 25 plus 18i. Now, I am not finished. In the problem we did in the notes, we were finished. But I am not finished, watch why. I am not allowed to leave that i in the denominator, so I have to go ahead and multiply this by the conjugate, which is why this problem is a little crazy. So I want to multiply by 25 minus 18i in the numerator and denominator. I'm going to go way over here, and I have to distribute all of this out. 9i times 25 is 225i. 9i times negative 18 is i is negative 162i squared. Negative 4 times 25 is negative 100. And negative 4 times negative 18i is positive 72i. That was just the numerator. Now I need to go ahead and distribute the denominator. So I get 25 times 25, which is 6, oops, 625. Um, I'm going to show all my work here, but a lot of people, you can, you know, this is going to be negative 450i, and this is going to be positive 450i, and those end up canceling each other out. I am going to show all my work for the video, but, like, if I was just doing this myself, I would not even write those, because that adds to be zero. But then you need to do negative 18i times positive 18i, which is negative 324i squared. And then what you do next is you change all of those i squareds to negative ones. So I'm gonna just kind of write up, oops, it'll let me, negative one here and a negative one here. And then I'm gonna combine my like terms. My i's are going right now to the denominator. This is gonna be 625 plus 324, which is 949. The numerator, I see here that I am going to have right here, this is going to end up being a positive 162 minus 100. So that's 62. 225i plus 72i is your 297i. So I hope that helps explain it for you if you needed some help on that one.